so uh, so we identified uh, elements by id by name by class name by link text so in selenium web driver there is a you no know, partial link text also there partial link text means you can use a substring so not required to write everything like you have join now two words right you can write only join or you can write only now so with a partial link text uh, locator so that's the advantage with a partial link text so basically it, it has a contains formula okay partial link text so that's the how you can write in the web driver driver dot find element by dot partial link text generates because if you understand here object reference dot the non static method which is a return type method that is a web element returns web element element name equal to driver dot find element driver is an object reference so the browser class you are creating object right that object reference so object reference dot so the find element it is finding the element in this space by so the locator and this value so that's a easy way so there's a class dot static method class dot static method So that's the all about how you can recognize the elements in the web driver. You have to write this code. So if you remember, it is easy to write the code. So next one is CSS. How to identify elements by CSS. So how to identify elements by CSS. So there is a ID. If there is an ID, how can you write in CSS format? So you can write CSS equal to tag name hash ID value. This is the fixed formula. So if you remember these formulas, mm -hmm. directly you can use this uh, formula. So you can see anywhere CSS equal to tag name. So tag name plus I replace it with the tag name hash. So ID value. So wherever ID is there, so the element, any element which is having ID and that value, you can write it here. So this is a generic formula. So you can use the generic formula anywhere. So let's go and see that. Our blog is not working. We need to see. Yeah, so it's good. Okay, um, so let's move on. Register. So register phase. So you, you select any element, okay? So inspect, first inspect, then look for the ID. Here is the ID. ID is going to be unique. Copy this, open Catalan recorder. So Catalan, yesterday we created, right? Uh, where is that? I think we didn't save it. Object identification suit, we created it. I think it is missed somewhere, but anyhow, let's create a new one. Okay?
Okay, so now I add this and uh, you can write CSS equal to, so in the Catalan record, if you write, so you have to follow this formula, CSS equal to this formula, CSS equal to, and this value. So what is the value? This one you have to write. So tag name is input, hash, so ID value. So then click on this finder icon, see it is recognizing, right? It is identifying. So you can see it is highlighting. You have to keep a Catalan recorder and your page side by side. So then you can see that. Okay, so that's the how to identify with ID in CSS format. So you can write in WebDriver. How can you write in WebDriver? So let's take that Notepad++ where we have already written. I will continue that. So here, right, we are writing here. So this one by CSS ID. So how can you write first web element? So element name, you have to write. So what is this element? So first name, edit box, write that. First name, edit box or text box, whatever it is. So driver is the object reference dot find element so by dot the the method name is css selector and function is rounded by parenthesis right so again the value so the value you copy from here so what you need to copy only this part equal to after whatever is there that one just place it here so this is how to write in selenium web driver so if you are identifying element by id in css you can write in this format so in the catalan recorder straight forward css equal to tag name hash id value here, here also we are written same tag name hash id value so this is how to write so in web driver now let's go to so next uh, locator, so the web by class attribute. So, okay, the element is having a class attribute. The element is having a class attribute. So then you have to, so write like this, CSS equal to tag name dot class value. So these formulas only for the specified attributes. You should not use this for other attributes. So remember here very carefully, this ID is, if you are taking ID from HTML, so in the CSS, how can you write? Tag name, hash, ID value. If you are taking a class, you can write tag name dot, class value. So this dot you should not use for other attributes. 
This is the only for a class. Tag name dot class value. So let's go and see. So which is having a class. See, we have a name is there. Class also there. So take this class and write it. Tag name is. CSS equal to tag name is input dot class value. See that. So if you, so it is not recognizing, just clean up this. You can see if errors are there. It is, uh, no, not highlighting, but it's recognizing. So if you want some other, take some other one, okay? So not this one. Maybe you can see here the class is there. Yeah, here is the. But this one doesn't work out. So there is a problem. Let me take one more. So where we have a class. Uh, so uniquely. So only one word should be there. It should not be. Yeah, this one. I'll take this one. Okay. Let me take this one. So this tag is IMG. Okay. I'll go and write IMG. Next row, I'll go CSS equal to tag name is IMG dot the class value. So this one, see, it is highlighting, right? So this is the, how you need to write a tag name dot class value. So then how can you write in, uh, so uh, web driver. So this is the one by class name. By class name, so n should be capital. So you have to write here CSS selector only. So there is no change. But here, so you have to use img dot not hash. So dot. You copy this otherwise. So. That one. So, what is the element name? So, open cart logo, right? Open cart logo. This is the open cart logo image. So, write that. So, the image element name you have to write. Open cart logo image. So, you have to write like this open cart logo image. So, that's how to identify the element by class name if there is no spaces here see the word is unique word that means this is a single word it's not a you know compound word there is no spaces also see img after space is not there so there is a dash so that is not considered as a spaces or anything so be between the words if there is a spaces in between the words of a class then this formula doesn't work out. Then how can you recognize? Let's go and see that kind of, you uh, know, uh, so examples for us. See, we have a, so this one, right? This one we have a, see, input, type, name, class. See, class, it has a spaces. Form dash control space input LZ. So it doesn't work out. So I'll, I'll write and it will show you an error. So it, it cannot recognize that element. See that. CSS equal to, what is the tag name? Input tag. So I'm identifying that. So search, search edit box. Search edit box I'm identifying. So dot class value. So I want to recognize this search edit box. See that element is not found. Element is not found. It's not able to recognize. Why? The reason is, so in the class, the words in between, there is a space. So words of the class value has a spaces. You should not use this formula directly. So what is what you need to do? So I have given here formula. So if there is a space between class value words, 
then replace the space with a dot. So wherever space is there in the class value, replace that with a so word. Okay. So that is the how you can handle such, such kind of class values. Okay, let's go and see. Uh, we'll replace a, a space with a dot and then it works or not. Let's go and see that. So I'll just replace. Where is the space? A control and input between there is a space. Remove that space with a dot. See now you identify now. See it recognizes. So this is the how you can identify if the class value words have a spaces. That space you replace with a dot. Then it will identify with a so element in the web page. Okay, is it clear? Two things. If the class value is a single word or no spaces, directly you can write it. Tag name dot class value. If the class has a spaces in between the words, what you need to do? Replace the spaces with a dot. Then, so remaining formula is same. So that's the only extra you, you need to do that. Okay, so that's the how you can uh, handle this kind of situations. So again, so the class CSS selector only. So CSS selector. Uh, that you can write uh, tag name dot class value. Okay. So next, identifying the elements with any other attributes. We have a uh, formulas for ID and we have formulas for uh, class, right? But uh, what about other attributes? So other attributes, we don't have formulas. So this is the formula you can use for any attribute with this formula, CSS equal to tag name, square bracket, attribute name, equal to single quote, attribute value. So single quotes end. So that's the formula you can use for any attribute, even for ID, even for class also you can use here. So ID also one attribute, right? Class also attribute. So that means you can use any attribute you can write here and that attribute value write in single quotes. Then it will recognize that element. So let's go and see that now. Uh, I'll, I'll try to use name or I'll try to use placeholder. It's up to you. Whatever you want, you can use it. So that's the beauty of this formula. So any attribute you can use here. So any attribute and that attribute value. So that's why I'm, I have written a formula a very generic way. So CSS equal to tag name, square bracket, attribute name equal to single quotes, attribute value. So just replace these values based on your element. So your element is having which tag and that element tag inside, there are attributes, right? So which attribute you are taking? So here, you if you see here, a lot of attributes are there. So you have a type, you have a name, placeholder, class, so it's up to you which one you want to take. So let me take a name, okay? I'll take a name. So I'll go to next row. CSS equal to tag name is input, square bracket. Attribute name is name equal to single quote name value. So find it. So where it is, it is here, right? So it is highlighting. And you try this one, uh, same element we don't want, right? You can try this one. So we have a class, but this class has a lot of uh, spaces, but you can use tag name dot class value. That's this, you have to replace all the spaces with the dot. But if you use this formula, if you use this formula, you don't need to replace any spaces. So let's see that. So button tag, right? I'll use CSS equal to, so the tag name is button, square bracket, class, 
equal to class value. Single quote start, single quote end, then square bracket ends. Now see that. So it is recognizing. Okay. So any element, you can identify if you follow the formulas. Formulas are very, very important. So if you want to write in web driver, just copy this entire thing, right hand side equal to after, just right here. So by name attribute, by CSS plus name attribute. Name or class, right? Whatever class. So a different formula. So web element, search button equal to driver dot find element. So by dot, the locator is CSS selector always. So all this comes under CSS only. No. So button tag button tag square bracket class equal to the value. So close the double quotes. See how do you know here two brackets you have to close. See that find element is a method. Method means so immediately surrounded by bracket right and see when I mouse over here this red uh, outer bracket is closed. So when you mouse over here, so the inner bracket, it is highlighting here. So that's a how. So when you are writing outer to inner, when you are closing inner to out. So that's what you need to do. So this bracket, so this one square bracket. So careful while uh, closing and opening the brackets, you have to be very uh, so careful on these brackets. How many brackets opened? That many brackets you need to close. That's very important. So that is the how to identify an element with a single attribute. So you, even you can identify with the multiple attributes also. So you can identify an element with the multiple attributes. So CSS equal to tag name square bracket attribute one equal to value square bracket close then square bracket start the second attribute. The second attribute is attribute two equal to and value. So this is the two attributes also you can use. So let's go and see that. So the same element, maybe I can use type button. So I can add type button. Uh, so how can you add that? So one more attribute. So start a square bracket at type equal to single quote button. I can write that. So this should also identify the same element. Right, so I added it two attributes. If you want, just copy paste here and you can see that. See this, see right? So this is the one attribute and this is the another attribute. Two attributes we have identified. Okay, so that's the how to identify with a single attribute and multiple attributes.
Okay. So this is the by ID, by class, by single attribute, by multiple attributes we have tried. So now let's go and see now a few more formulas. So the formulas are, let's see here, uh, header tag, if you have a header tag in your web pages. So directly you can write CSS equal to header tag. So what is that? So this is the header tag. So header tag, CH1 tag. Simply you can write CSS equal to H1 directly. CSS equal to H1. So now it will recognize. So keep the element and your Catalan recorder side by side so that it will be easy to uh, no, identify whether it is recognizing or not. See that. See, it is recognizing. Okay, so exactly which element you want, which element uh, attributes and properties you are using to write the formulas, same element should identify. If it is identifying a different element, means something wrong in your uh, no, object identification. So like that, you first check in the Catalan recorder, then same thing you write in the so web driver so because web driver you know there is no option to check you directly will write the code like this in the web driver right so if you write and you have to run it and it takes some time so waste of time so instead of that first check in the catalan recorder then write there so that it will help it will save your time that is the purpose of this catalan recorder why we are using. So, so just take this. Okay, so this element is um, register account, register account header. So you have to say CSS and remove this entire thing, CSS selector H1, that's it. Okay, so this is how you can recognize the elements very easily. Next. Um, so next formula is how to handle dynamically changing elements. So your elements are dynamically changing. How can you handle that? To handle a dynamically changing elements, so dynamically changing means the attributes are dynamically changing. Whenever you load in P's, always. Right, when you are revisiting the piece or when you are launching the piece, same piece, every time attribute values will change dynamically. So, to handle that dynamically changing elements, so we need to use some techniques to handle that dynamically changing elements. So, those techniques are these things. Star. Star means contains. Star means contains. So how to use this star? So this is the kind of regular expression also. This is a regular expression uh, generally people will use. Star means, okay, if this attribute contains this value, so you identify your telling for selenium. So selenium will go and look for a given partial attribute value is present with this attribute on this tag or not, it will check. If it is present, it will recognize. So such kind of you know, uh, things we need to identify. Let me show you that okay, we have a such kind of you know, properties in so rediff.com. Okay? So in the rediff.com, so all the elements are dynamically changes. The name attribute value dynamically changes you go to create account page create account page you go and here you take any element here every element 
name right so name name attribute we see name attribute so input type button name so this value dynamically changes so you observe that you can you can first time it will recognize no issues and open you can write um, so name equal to i can identify with the name also first time but if you refresh the piece and it won't recognize see that now it will recognize but just refresh the refresh means you are revisiting the piece same page you are revisiting now you see it won't recognize so this one you clean up and see this see you got an error what is the error element is not found then what is the difference so let's see such cases what you need to do check the object identification property so this is the value you compare both the values so what is the previous value and what is the new value so name so this is the current value okay current name previous so what is the previous value get the previous value here we took already this is how you can identify sir how can we find out the first time not one time if you run the test case you will come to know uh, two three times if you find out you will come to know whether it is a dynamic or not see sorry this is the previous right previous now see that see everything same only l after value is changing so that means we we should not take this dynamic values the constant value only take that is what this is talking about contains so contains means i don't want to give a complete attribute value take partial value only partial value that is not changing value means so this one btn chk while is the static value that is not changing remaining portion is changing so you need to ignore this changed portion and write that okay so that's the let's apply for this and you know if you uh, know uh, sign up 